Yo, what's going on guys? You're watching jQuery for Beginners Lesson 12 and in this video we're going to start changing some attributes. Okay then gang, so there's going to be times when you're developing websites for clients, you're going to want to reach into your web page in the JavaScript and either read an attribute, change an attribute or delete it completely. Now there's two methods in jQuery which make your life really simple when it comes to doing this and these are remove ATTR and ATTR just stands for attribute. This method does exactly what it says on the tin, it removes an attribute completely from whichever element you want to remove it from. The second one is ATTR, stands for attribute, and this can do one of two things. It can either read an attribute or it can set an attribute. So let's show you these two methods. What I've done is found this map image in my HTML. And what I'm going to do is remove the alt attribute right here. There's no real purpose to this. I just want to demonstrate to you this remove attribute method. So. Let's do that. Let's first of all grab that image. It's in the contact section. So we'll say contact, if we can spell it right, contact image, and then dot remove ATTR. And the attribute we want to remove is the alt attribute. So let's do that. If I save this right now, what I'm going to do is close that and refresh over here. And if I inspect this element now, you're going to see there is no alt attribute anymore. That's because we've removed it like magic using that method. Awesome. Now we can use this one right here to change the attribute or set the attribute name. So that's what I'm going to do right under this. I'm going to get that image again. So I'll copy there and paste down below. Then I'll say ATTR. And with this method, you have to pass in two values. The first value is the attribute you want to supply a value to. And the attribute name is alt. The second value is the value itself. And I want to say this is going to be location. So we're changing it essentially from map to location. So let's save this again, refresh over here. And now you can see alt equals location. Pretty awesome. And by the way, to do this thing right here, you don't need to remove the attribute first of all. This can be a pre-existing attribute, which it is up here. And this method will just change it. So I'll save it again just to demonstrate that and press refresh and it's still location. Awesome. All right, we can also read the value of an attribute using this method. So let's not set it anymore. Let's delete that second value. And all we need to do is pass through the attribute name that we want to read. I've done that right there, so I'll save it. And what I'm gonna do, guys, is log this to the console. So I'll write console.log and I'll pop this thing in brackets like that. And then hopefully it's going to log it right here. So I'll save it and refresh. And this time I get map in the console, which is the alt value right there. Awesome. All right then, guys. So when are you going to want to use this? Um, well, there's a few different ways we can use it. A couple of examples could be if you have some kind of image gallery. Say this is a little gallery, right? And I click a next button or a next arrow right there. Every time I click that, I might want this source attribute to change so that it loads in a different image each time. And I can use that method right there to change that source attribute. Another example could be when we play around with the Instagram API. We could play around with that, uh, request a feed of images back from Instagram. Then we're going to dynamically insert those images into our web page. Once we've done that, we're going to cycle through the images and apply an alt attribute to each one of them. All right. So that's the kind of things we can do with these methods. If you have any further questions, feel free to comment down below. Otherwise, guys, don't forget to, subscri uh, to subscribe, share and like, and I'll see you in the very next tutorial.